Erin Staff, and I'm a product manager here at Zapier on our chatbots team. I am so incredibly excited to be connecting with you all. For this demo, I'm going to highlight two of our recent updates for the chatbots product and give you a sneak peek into what's coming soon. But first, a bit of background. So with Zapier chatbots, we are building chatbots that help you automate customer support and generate leads using the power of AI and automation. The example chatbot that I have here is an imaginary chatbot for a farm flower business. To build this chatbot, I connected it to GPT-4. I added in some instructions about you know, how I wanted it to operate. I also connected it to a Zapier table to serve as my custom knowledge source. And then I also adjusted the style of it to match the look and feel of the brand. So it's super ready to just drop on the farm's website. The goal being to give customers a resource where they can get all the answers to their questions 24 seven, while also bringing new sales in for the business. Okay, so now onto the exciting new features. We added two new pieces of functionality last month that will allow you to further customize the chatbot. So the first is suggestions and the second is lead collection. For both of these, I'm going to head into the actions tab in the chatbots builder. So first up, I'm gonna show you how to make it easier for your customers to get started engaging with the chatbot quickly by providing some good examples for the types of questions that the chatbot can answer. I've already set this up in the chatbot with a few prompts, so I'm gonna click in to just show you what that looks like. So a builder can go in and add up to five suggested prompts to each chatbot. These suggestions are going to show at the very beginning of the conversation, like you see here in the test space on the right. When a customer clicks on the button, this is going to immediately kick off the conversation with that question. So that prompt is going to get sent to AI to then respond. The chatbot is going to search through the custom knowledge and utilize the relevant context that it finds to then generate and share back a message within the conversation. So this, this feature really helps users find value with the chatbots quickly, as well as gives them a sense for how they can engage with the tool with free text questions as well. Next, I'm going to add a second action to collect some information from within the conversation so I can follow up with these leads after their chat. With this feature, you're able to select the type of contact information that you want. I'm going to just select name and email for this example, and then I'm going to click save. When I do that, it's going to create a Zapier table to store this information. And then I'm going to go to the chat and I'm going to kick it off with just a free text question of, do you have tulips? Because I've set up lead collection, the chatbot is going to respond and ask for my name and email directly within the conversation. What's great is we're using AI to ask this question as part of the natural conversation versus of in injecting a bulky form. So I'm going to add my information. The chatbot will then extract it and immediately add it to the table that it created. It's then going to continue the conversation uh, based on the initial question that I asked about tulips. So from this table that you see here, you can see that it's pulled out my information from the chat. And from there, you can go and create zaps um, to do everything from alerting a team member of the conversation or adding this contact info to your CRM. So both of these features are available for you currently. We're also excited to expand these in the future. We plan to add things like new conditions for when these are triggered, collecting info from custom fields, uh, being able to give you access to the entire transcript in your zaps, and then adding additional styling options for more customization of the look and feel. So definitely go check out Zapier chatbots and let us know if you have any feedback on what you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for the time and have a great day. Bye.